pretty good, pretty good. Excellent. Um, you're doing good right now, but we'll see how that reflects on the hot ones. <laughs> Sounds good. I'm ready. All right, so you want to start digging in? Okay, so uh, I'm going to start with what I think is the li lightest. Mm -hmm. Oh, because it says number three. Because it says these. number three. Can I just put whatever amount I want on it? Yeah, sure. Okay. I'm going. I'm loading up on the, li on the light ones, mm -hmm. on the early ones. All right, and once you start eating, I'm going to ask you your questions. Okay. All right, so first of all, when did you start working at Alamini? I have two answers to this question. The first one is um, May 1st, mm -hmm. 2023, did this role. And in the past, I worked here for 17 summers as a summer school teacher. Okay. Yeah. And now, why did you start working here? <laughs> oh. I started working here because I love this place. Okay. My DNA is at this place. Yeah. And um, I find that this place is a gem of a, of a school, and um, and it's awesome in every way, and I want to be a part of it growing and getting even better. Mm -hmm. So you really liked it in high school? I loved it in high school. I had a great high school experience. Um, I don't have a lot of negativity in when I think about my high school days, and I want Alamany to be that for a lot of other people. Mm -hmm. All right. That sounds, I think that's really good. Good. And how are you feeling right now? It looks like you're struggling on that second question. I was struggling only to swallow it and answer at the same time, but that was nothing. I could I could have that whole bottle. <laughs> oh, wow. I'll really? take it on a dare. getting cocky. <laughs> All right. I want to start off with the next sauce. Okay. I'm going to definitely only have a bite, and I was not warned about that. I don't want to make sure that I'm, I'm chewing while I'm answering. All right. So this one is what? Um, I'm not sure. That's this one is number five, smoky bourbon. Smoky bourbon. Right. Doesn't sound dangerous to me. Mm -hmm. Smaller bite, so that can answer quickly. Well, we're about to find out. All right, so now these next few questions are related to your high school experience. Okay. So, what high school did you go to? <laughs> Alamania. Bishop Alamania across the street. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, and um, when you went to school, what was your favorite subject here and why? Mm. I would say I didn't have a favorite subject per se. I was never all into one particular subject. I definitely had favorite teachers, okay. some of which are still here now. Yeah. And um, uh, several individuals that come to mind, uh, Ms. Chauvin, um, Mr. Peters, uh, there, there are others. And um, some of those people really inspired me to actually go into education. So it's really cool that I'm here now and I get to work with them. It's a lovely thing. I don't think a lot of people have that or can say that in their lives. I guess it all works out in the end. It does. Yeah. All right. How are you feeling right now? Absolutely fine. Yeah. Absolutely good, fine. Good to go. Well, we'll see. We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Since you're, we're speeding through this right now, we're going to move on to our next sauce. Okay, number six, red chili. Okay. You want to try it? No. Okay. <laughs> red chili. Good healthy amount there. I am starting to get a little nervous. Okay. So we'll see. You're going to hit me with the question right away, huh? Uh-huh. And okay. I see that sweat going on your face I'm already. a little bit. All right. So did you have a favorite teacher? Kind of corresponding to the last question. Hmm. I will say... I can say this about a lot of people. There's one teacher in particular who recently retired from Bishop Alamany, and I'll say it's the first time in my life that um, a teacher pulled me outside, really firmly looked me in the eye, and, and told me to get my act together. Okay. And did it in a way that was, it was intense, but a way that I really needed, and in a way that really reached me. Um, and for that and a million other reasons, Mr. Tim Brown, who used to be here, is somebody who sort of did that for me. And what subject did he teach? He taught geometry and um, various iterations of computer. But it was math. that It was geometry class that it happened in. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And he gave you some discipline? I'm going to say it was more like um, fatherly advice or something like that. It was more mentor advice. Okay. And, uh, and I really took it to heart. It was one of the first, person, first times that a teacher spoke to me in a way that was so assertive. Yeah. It made me realize I wasn't doing what I was supposed to. And I was... Um, I needed to do better, and he really reached me in a way that I appreciated. Yeah. I think that's good. I mean, you're like really taking um, your darkest moments into advice in the future. Well, Jake, I don't know if I would call it dark. I don't want to go that, that, that about it, but I will say that it was, I was in trouble, and I was causing trouble at the time, and I remember the way that he handled it, he told me in a way that I understood, and it didn't reach my parents and discipline and other things, and I really appreciated it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling good. I Should definitely I can taste, you know, a little bit of, a, of the hop right now, but I'm doing okay. I'm ready to continue. All right, I think we move on to our next sauce, and I ask about two more questions. Okay. And actually, probably more after that. Okay, all right. Well, this one is, I can't tell. Let's see this. This is um, ghost pepper wing sauce. Ghost pepper. It sounds safe. We're about to find out. 
If this is thicker, this is going to be an issue. Oh, there we go, it had a cap. Yeah, you figured it out. All right. A little thicker. All right. Are okay. you taking these hot sauces home after? I don't know. Whatever Vince she wants to do with them. All right. Now our next question is, um, what was the theme for your senior homecoming? I have no idea. You forgot? It's so hot. It's so hot? Oh. But I also have no idea. That's something I probably should know. Yeah. And I just don't remember. I, I have no clue what our theme was. Mm. I should. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's all right. All right, now the next question is... Oh my gosh, hang on a second. Water sip. That was a hot one. Oh. <laughs> okay, his first sip of water is down. Mm -hmm. And now we are out of the high school questions. Okay. So now we are kind of getting to the general questions. Okay. So what is the most unusual job you say you've ever had in your life? Ooh. Okay. Um, when I was 14, okay. I went and got my first job. I remember I didn't even um, tell my parents about it until I, had, I woke up one Saturday and said, Hey, I'm going to work. And they were you're going to work. Okay. I walked down the street to Chuck E. Cheese, which is down here on the corner of San Fernando Mission in Woodley. And I asked, I went in there one day and asked if they needed help with the video game room. Okay. And, and I got hired. I worked there for two years until they asked me to wear the Chuck E. costume. Oh. <laughs> and I lied and I said something about having high blood pressure or something and I couldn't wear it. And then they, they asked me questions that sort of tricked me until they realized I was lying. And then I actually lost my job after that over refusing to wear that disgusting Chucky suit. It's probably the weirdest job I ever had. If we have a vote, story. If we have a vote to have you wear the Chuck E. Cheese costume in school. You really do it? I would do it for students. You I would do it for students, students, but I would not like it. <laughs> Especially if it's not the one that's used by other uh, other people. I have a thing about putting costumes on like that. But I think for students, I would do it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So how are you feeling right now? I, I definitely feel like um, my mouth is on fire. All right. <laughs> this one was far more brutal than this other brand here. So, all right. Yeah. Now we're about to get up. Okay. Next, we've got a Trader Joe's habanero. I'm afraid of habanero. Habanero. That's okay. usually the borderline that I don't try to cross. All right, we have four more questions, so we'll see if you pull through for it. Okay. You're struggling on that last one, so. I, you know, I don't know. I, I, I can test that I was struggling. I'm just saying that I, I felt it. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Jake. Yeah. All right. So now this is about um, more another personal question. Did you ever play a sport? I did. Right, what sport I played um, basketball. Okay. I played football here at Almany for two and a half years until I got hurt. Mm -hmm. And that's it. I had a, um, I had an experience where I had, I got tackled, mm -hmm. and I broke uh, two fingers uh, on my hand, and I ended up um, pulling an Achilles. And for about <clears throat> two months, super hot. Uh, for about two months, I sat in a, um, in, in ice buckets rather than playing, and I had a guitar in my hand, and it just, I started going the guitar route. Oh, yeah. So you went from football player to musician here? Um, I played guitar my whole life, but yeah, it made me sitting in an ice bucket with a guitar, you know, from football with a guitar in my hands made me dedicate to only playing the guitar. Okay. This is so hot that my eyes and my mouth um, <laughs> feel like they're going to explode. <laughs> yeah, it's really warm. Yeah, I, see, I see the tears in his, like, his eyes. All mm -hmm. right. So now we're getting to the next question. Now, yeah. So it seems like you were a pretty good kid beside that time that in your geometry class. But yeah. were you ever on the dean's list or the dean's radar? I was definitely dean's list. Okay. I wasn't straight A's, but I was. Um, I was on the dean's list. Mm -hmm. And um, what else did you ask? That was it. Okay, so Just you, the dean's so list. So you were yeah. on the dean's list. I was a good kid here. Oh yeah. I'm dying. It's really hot. <laughs> So you're really hot. I see the sweat all over his face. Yeah. And his eyes are watery. <laughs> right. I was a good, I was, I was, I had one detention when I went to Bishop Alameda. You had school. one detention? I had one detention. And I went to go serve it and it started at three o'clock and I got there and it was, the person didn't let me in, the teacher. And they, they looked up at the clock, it said 3.01. And they wouldn't let me in because I wasn't on time. And so then they forced a Saturday detention over it. Ooh. And I remember my parents were upset and I was, you know, potentially not going to go serve it. And then it was going to continue to go. I don't know why. I remember it being sort of an issue. And then I served my Saturday detention and everything was cool. Even the, prince, even the president of Bishop Alamey gets yes, in trouble. Yes, I had a Saturday detention here. My one detention. All right. So now we're going to move on to our final sauce. Mm. Let's see if it pulls through. It's habanero again, Jake. I don't like that. Oh. You're going to make me do this. And it's on number seven. All right. Is the question number seven, too? Um... I am not sure. Okay. All right. 
Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I love how you take the smallest one. <laughs> All right. Sure. So now, what is your favorite thing about Alamany in general? Mm. My favorite thing about Alamany is the people. The people. Really, truly. I feel like um, the staff here, I feel like the, the families here. I'm definitely sweating, Jake. <laughs> But truly, it's about the quality of people. I feel like um, the teachers here are so talented and they know what they're doing to an exceptional degree. I feel like the, the, the students here are down to earth and they're just good natured, authentic people who are raised by really good people who I feel like I assimilate with. I feel like, like I said, my DNA is here and I it feels very much at home. So my favorite thing about Alamania is the people around me. Oh yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's very good for, especially for a president of a high school. Yeah, and it looks like he's dying. <laughs> I'm sweating. This is really warm. So let's see the uh, yeah. let's get to the final question. Okay. So, a lot of students here have accomplished many goals. Yeah. But what about you? What are your goals this year? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna break that down. Is this wing stop, by the way? Um, I'm not sure. Okay. Very hot wings. I whatever hot, down. whatever hot take. I'll break it down. Hot, hot one, hot take style. Goals. I'm gonna say number one for 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 students. I think it's important that, that students feel like they can be who they are, okay. that they can be themselves and they don't have to try or think about being something different when they're in the classroom, when things are going really good, when things are not going really good. My goal is that Alameda can be a place where people can be who they are and be comfortable in their own skin. I think for teachers, my goal, when, when teachers are, are inspired and empowered, and they're excited about what they do. They do magical things. They do incredible things for students. And so goals along with Dr. Reinerson for teachers is that they have the tools and the support and the help that they need to just be unlocked and thrive. And um, that's definitely a goal for teachers. Um, me being the president at Alamany, it's also very much about the business side, about the operations. And um, my goals are all around making sure that this place has enough money coming in to where not only five years from now, but 50 years from now, when I'm long gone and it's handed off to the next person, it's in a better state than, than the way it was found, than the way it was received. Yeah. I think those are very good goals. I mean, I love how you're not thinking just about yourself, but about everybody here. Thanks, Jake. I'm very uncomfortable at the moment. <laughs> very, uncomfortable. <laughs> very, very, very the uncomfortable. The howlings have finally gone to them. They are. I'm sniffling and sweating in a way that I dislike. Well, luckily, that was our last question. Thank you, Jake. Yeah. Appreciate the discomfort. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs>